there, everyone. I'm Adam Meister. It is September the 9th, 2009. And it is very sunny up here on my roof in Reservoir Hill. I wanted to show you the lovely view we have up here of Baltimore. And I wanted to make an announcement that my blog, which I guess you're reading right now, uh, we're expanding a little bit. We're going to have some uh, video shows, if that makes sense to you. We're going to have some videos every Friday talking about Baltimore, exploring what's going on. And I hope to expand it into an official show called Meisterpiece Theater, where we'll have all sorts of guests come on, people that you might not know now, but people that you should know. They're doing a lot of awesome things here in Baltimore. Um, also, uh, we're expanding the blog. Remember the URL, BaltimoreHourly.com. It's going to be very important soon. BaltimoreHourly.com. So, thanks for your time. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour of my alley to show you some of the trash, uh, show you uh, my street a little bit, just show you what's really going on in Baltimore, because I think that's what people come to this blog for. Uh, the news media... They like to talk about fluff issues, you know, Sally Thorner leaving the Channel 13, like that's a big thing. Meanwhile, you know, people are selling drugs all over the place. We forget about those important things. So, I'll see you in a second. So, here we are in my alley, and it is, of course, Wednesday. The trash isn't supposed to be picked up until Friday, but people are already, uh, have their trash out. It's rotting and stinking. It's just really nice. Um, again, here's some more. And I've, I've written about how we should have the inspectors just come out here and give everybody a warning, say, hey, we're going to come out one, one Wednesday and go up your alley all over Baltimore City, and they're still going to be able to catch stuff like this. $50 violations all around. I mean, we're talking about this could be like a $100 violation right here. You know, right here we got some, uh, again, trashes out early. Really lovely stuff. Again, more trash here. It, it just never ends. And this is Wednesday. So some of this has been rotting for a while, and it'll be rotting for the next few days. Again, here's more. We've, we've already seen uh, five violations. There's another one right there. And again, we're not even a quarter way down my alley. Again, here we got some more good stuff. It doesn't smell very well. I mean, you can even see this is addressed to someone. You could easily find out who this stuff is. Um, the city could make a fortune at just, again, going up every single alley in Baltimore, give everyone a warning, and say, hey, we're going to give everybody $50 to $100 fine. Already, uh, this is what, the sixth violation, so we're talking about $300 at least the city would make. That would pay for the salary of, of someone coming by. There we go. Here we go. We're on. I love you, Adam. <laughs> this is our lovely crossing guard here at uh, Linden and Ducatel. I saw you on TV last week. Was it last week or a week before? Who knows? Somewhere you was at <laughs> on TV. I had to say, Adam, you know, Adam is everywhere. I, hopefully. That's good. We're going to be on the internet soon. You and I are both. We're going to be on the internet together. Look that's at us. On Hello, everyone. Ah! This is one of my favorites here. we got a whole line of trash. Woo-wee. Now, of course, you also have to realize that back here in this little woodsy area, this is where the drug dealers run. They stash the drugs back there. That can be a lot of fun. More trash. This promotes that kind of activity. You know, you got a messy alley. Let's hide some drugs here. Hide some drugs everywhere. Um, this is pretty bad. Now, this water has been running out of this water meter for over five weeks. We've called it in numerous times a 311. There's actually been an inspector that's been out here that's called this in the 311. And they do nothing. I, I mean, I wonder who's getting pay, who's paying for this water. Here, this is right in front of a foreclosed house. Or a bank-owned house, actually. 2225 Linden Avenue. Uh, I doubt the bank is paying this water bill. But it'll be, you know, the taxpayers will end up paying it, no doubt. Again, this has been constantly running for five weeks now. And here's my house. It's looking nice. 
And of course, you might have not believed it, but I live next to one empty house there. Then on my other side, look at that empty house. That's nice. Up, oh, there's another empty house. Look at the overflowing front lawn. We've got wild cats, wild rats. It's pretty fun. It's a big adventure. Well, that's it for today. Keep on coming back. BaltimoreHourly.com. See you later.